This is Chris, the Idaho Painter. In this video, we're gonna show you how we go about masking floors before we actually paint the walls or spray the trim. I've had some YouTube subscribers of mine ask me how we mask, uh, mask our floors off and cover them so we don't get any paint on them. So we're gonna show you how we do that right now. So we're in this house and we're spraying the baseboards in this house only and then we're rolling our walls and we're not painting the ceilings. So we're going around and we're running a nine inch paper and one inch tape around to give us um, uh, the masking onto the floor so we don't get any overspray on the floor. And then we're putting our drop cloths over the top of that. And prior to actually running that nine inch paper, one inch tape, we're putting frog tape down. You can see right here, I'll pull up some of this paper right here and hopefully you can see that right there that's our nine inch paper one inch 20 point tape and then we've got our frog tape around the edge so we're going around running our one inch frog tape all around our wood floors because we don't want when we spray that wood trim we don't want any the overspray to bleed onto our wood floors so the frog tape will protect the wood floor from getting any paint bleed onto it and then the nine inch paper is giving us this protection you can see we got about three inches of overspray spray onto that paper then our drop cloths so we're not walking on their floors and if we're dripping any paint rolling the drop cloths will protect the entire floor so I'm gonna walk through here show you some of the other scenarios that we have here we got another situation right here where we've transitioned from a hardwood floor to the carpet and we just continued running our nine inch paper and one inch tape onto the carpet you don't need to put frog tape onto the carpet um, we're just using this uh, the nine inch paper, I'll show you right here, just, just like that. And we're actually using, when we get onto the carpet, we actually use inch and a half tape on the carpet and we just run our tape and tuck it underneath the baseboards and so there we don't get any paint on the carpet. So here's, we're working upstairs here also in this hallway. We've run just nine inch paper and inch and a half tape tucked uh, tape down underneath the baseboards along the carpet and we're using a method that I actually have a video that shows you how to tuck and uh, uh, use one in, inch and a half tape masking carpet. You can check out that video right here and that will show you the technique that we use the, um, to actually tuck it in to get it underneath your baseboards and go up and down stairs and so for situations like that with your tape. We got it all masked here. We've sprayed these baseboards right here and then we're gonna be rolling these walls and we're gonna be laying drop cloths down up here before we roll these walls. Here's another uh, situation we're working in this hallway right here, just running our nine inch paper, one inch tape, inch and a half tape on our carpet, covered it with a drop cloth right here. We're gonna be coming right through here and rolling the walls too, and that way everything's covered. We've got these spots right here that aren't filled in. When we get in rolling right here, we'll just run some paper right there and cover that all up. Masking these hardwood floors, and getting it ready to spray. I'll be showing, we just take and we just take frog tape. We did have some yellow frog tape that we used on here. That's for delicate surfaces. We're just using it to get rid of some of it that we had, but typically use the green frog tape and we're just running it along our hardwood floor, just like this. And we want to get extremely tight to your baseboard so you don't get any overspray on that hardwood floor. You want to get it really tight down there. And this is the, the most critical step when it comes to painting trim, especially on a hardwood floor. And then once that tape is down, then we're going back over it with nine, nine inch paper and one inch 2020 tape and just going right back over the top of it like that. And then once we get all our paper run around our hardwood floors, then we just go back and just lay our drop cloths down over the top of that. And um, when it comes to the carpet, we actually just, instead of using frog tape, we're gonna use inch and a half tape to run along our carpet, tuck it underneath the baseboards, then we're gonna go over it with our uh, 3M hand masker with one inch tape and nine inch paper. So we're gonna be working up these stairs and we're gonna be just, we're not actually, uh, we've got our trim along the stairs, so we don't have to mask the carpet off, but we're gonna wanna lay drop cloths down, cover the floors going up this carpet, up these stairs, and typically throughout the house, we're gonna be using drop cloths. We have 
for me anywhere in like 30, 40 drop cloths in our vans and we're gonna completely cover everything. And we use a lot of the four by 12 runners, put them all down the hallways, up the stairways, like these non-slip runners like this. Um, and those are really good because your ladders won't slide on them on hardwood floors. But we're gonna get this surface all covered with four by 12 runners and then actually 12 by 12 drop cloths to fill in the large areas. So once again, when it comes to covering the floors, we're just using a lot of drop cloths and we're using a 3M hand masker with one inch 2020 tape on the hand masker, nine inch paper. We're also using inch and a half tape for our carpeted areas and we're using green frog tape on all of our hardwood floor areas. And then one of the other things is this, it's not the floors, but then we're covering all of our furniture and, uh, and anything out in the middle of the floors with actual just plastic, nine by 400 plastic. So you can see right behind me, we got this nine by 400 uh, visqueen uh, plastic that's actually covering the furniture too. We're not actually painting the ceilings, but we actually cover all this stuff just in case somebody drops an extension pole, drops a brush or bumps up to it. They got some paint on their clothes or something, bumps up against the furniture, is walking by with the bucket, touches it. You wanna just have everything covered.